Cisco. That's an easy question. Um, no, it's good. It's good. I actually started in Microsoft, went to Novell, uh, and then uh, and then landed in Cisco, um, and they were all great. But so so here's. Let me just give you my my gut feel. Microsoft is fun. There's there's I'm not at all downing Microsoft, but it's it is an application uh, that that has just so much to it. So it reaches so far and and has so many moving parts that there's just a lot of a lot of bugs and I didn't realize just how how jaded that had made me to where the answer is to reboot right that's the answer if if you can't figure it out and nothing else is working then just reboot and that that solves it and and that that was an acceptable answer until I got into Cisco to where everything is so cut and dry and and clean not to say Cisco doesn't have bugs because they do but at the same time to where you're like okay the logic is very simple if this if this if this then this and that if if you don't get that then that must be wrong you must have done something wrong right there no matter how how much you want to deny it because you're you're so smart uh, you must have done something wrong and and rebooting won't solve the problem and that's so good I, when I reboot a device and the problem is still there I'm like thank you Thank you, because that tells me that it's not some kind of weird bug that it's just I have to upgrade the operating system or something. So, so anyway, uh, why? What would I suggest somebody get into? I, I would just say, um, if you if you want a lot of job security, probably Microsoft, because there's a lot of jobs available. If you want that clean cut uh, and and dry, like this is this is how it works, and it's like you have this box of Legos, and what do you want to build? That's, that's Cisco. And now I can also speak to the uh, DevOps and developer side too. Um, such fun. That, so that's the, the area that I have the least experience in uh, because I'm not a developer, but I've now seen enough of that world to say, wow, uh, you get to create your own world. So going back to the question, why do you, why do you like CBT Nuggets? Because it's me and I get to create something amazing. Um, uh, in the developer world, I could see that same thing, a lot of people saying that same thing.